So this is the grotto of the Virgin Mary that um, some coward decided, looks like they kicked her and um, broke it into three pieces and I am going to try to put it together um, through cement and I will show you what what uh, material that I'm going to use to try to put this together. It's a very heavy statue. My guess is it's, it probably weighs about 200 pounds or so. Um, so you, you had to kick it in order to knock it over. We had it in our garden um, and our church is located in a place where we get a lot of transient people sleeping in our garden um, as a safe haven and we're okay with that for the most part. However, if you decide to have drugs, needles in our garden or desecrate our statues or break them, um, that is not good. So um, I'm going to try to put this together and once it's together we're going to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Here's the material that I plan on using to put together um, that, that grotto. This is um, acrylic fortifier, it's a quick crude product. It's got good reviews online so I'm going to mix it with my cement. And this cement here, I bought it at Lowe's, I think I paid 15 bucks for it. I could have paid for half half the price um, if I would have bought the bag, but it's an 80 or 90 pound bag and I don't feel like lugging that around, so I, I brought a lighter bag. This is, I think, 20 pounds. And here's my water to mix it into this bucket here. I always try to keep bags around because they're pretty convenient, my gloves. And um, we'll get it all together and hopefully um, it works. So I think I have the consist consistency that I want. It's, um, it's kind of pretty thick. The best way to describe it is maybe like a peanut butter type of consistency. And what I'm going to do is pour this um, acrylic fortifier into, I'm trying to do everything with one hand, that's why the camera angles might not always be the best, but um, I'm pour a little bit of this into the mixture, maybe a little more to get it harden up, and I basically have 15 minutes to put everything on, so wish me luck. So this is just a shin that I found in the garage and I'm just going to lay it on this statue here just like that. And you notice I got a cardboard underneath it, so it's good these cardboard boxes come into real handy because you can make a mess really quick and um, they're great, I use them all the time for painting painting and all of that because um, they're easy to throw away, easy to set up, they fold, they're portable. I prefer the cardboard boxes over the drop cloths any day of the week. So as you can see I'm just putting this on and I'm just going to hope and pray that this works because it's a really beautiful statue and um, I'm trying to do everything with one hand so that's why it's kind of messy but that's kind of what I'm doing and I'm just going to cover this whole area up So I'm going to cover it all up and get back with you in just a minute. So as you can see, I covered everything up pretty good. Um, and I'm going to move this piece on top of that piece and hope that everything binds together. I put a pretty generous amount of concrete on there just to make sure it sticks. So I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand because this thing weighs about at least 200 pounds. 
So I'm going to turn off the camera here. So here is the result. Like I said earlier, these little plastic bags are really handy because what I do is I would use it to kind of contour the edges a little bit to give it that smoother look. Full disclosure, I am a DIY guy. I am not an expert. So I know what I do is probably not what a pro would do, but um, I did the best I could. Hopefully it'll stick, but I did some repairs on her hands. And I filled in her dress a little bit because it was starting to come apart. Some of it was broken from the, from the damage. And you look around the back of her veil here. I just um, put in another, um, another layer of concrete. And it dries really quickly. I basically had about 20 minutes to get everything done because um, this stuff sets and dries really quickly. So it's, I added a little bit more water just to give it some more texture so I could put it on easier. But for the most part, it's, it's hard as a rock now. I mean, I can't use this. So I'm gonna come back here in about two or three hours and check on the statue and make sure that it's, it doesn't move anywhere. So, um, more to come. So this is the finished product. Looks like the concrete for the most part has dried. And Blessed Mother is in her beautiful form. And I just moved it over and it seems pretty sturdy to me. I was afraid that it hasn't dried yet, but I moved her over. She weighs about at least I say about two or three hundred pounds. And the reason why I tell people to use cardboard whenever they're doing jobs is because I can easily just fold up this cardboard piece of this cardboard and just put it in the trash here without having to do any sweeping. So this is really handy. I use it all the time for my painting jobs and any other dirty jobs. So yeah. Once again. This is the finished product. And I was able to repair all of that within about an hour. So it took me about an hour. That includes mixing and putting it on and um, let it dry. I, I went to the dentist, just got back, so it's been a couple hours since um, everything was put on. So by tomorrow, she should be completely dry and hopefully ready to be moved to a safer location. And we need to make sure that this does not happen to her again. Amen to that. Thanks for watching. And I hope you have a blessed day.